the wiring management process is a wizard that allows the user to create and edit wirings in a guided way, hence minimalizing the probability of error. In the first step, you have to select the operation to do the creation of a new wiring, the interruption of existing wirings, or the change of existing wirings. After that, you connect an origin asset with a destination asset and proceed with the chain towards the following asset. The wiring management process can be found in the section Network of the Navigation menu and can be started and executed by the network specialists. Let's start a new process and as first step we select the subflow that we want to execute. In this case we want to create a new chain of wirings. Let's click on Advance and select the network interfaces to connect. As Horigen hardware, we can select this server and a related network interface, for example, the number 4. As destination hardware, we'll take the network box, this one, and as the destination interface, we'll ex select for example, the network interface number 17. We can now choose the color of the cable and the action. The process allows me to create the connection and exit or to create the connection and iterate this step by starting from the same origin hardware or using the destination hardware as new origin hardware. In this way, you'll create a series of connections. In order to be brief, we'll now create here just a connection. In this part of the interface, there's useful information to see the situation of wirings available in this moment. In particular, I can view the data of the network interfaces that I selected on my origin server. I can view the data of the network interface of the destination asset, and I can also see the available connections. In particular, what can I see in this window? I can see the network interface of this server we are analyzing. This is already connected to another asset. In fact, we can see that there is a connection between this port, ETO4, and the interface, ETO5, of this asset. On the other side, as for the connections available on the destination interface, in this window I can see that my network interface is connected to the network interface 16 of this hardware. So let's see what happens by advancing the process. The process guided me onto the same step and is telling me that the origin interface is already connected, so I cannot obviously connect an interface to two different network interfaces. Then I have to select another interface. Let's select, for example, number 13 and see what this panel shows. At the moment, this panel is empty, 
This means that the origin interface hasn't existing connections yet. On the other side, the destination interface is already connected, so I have to choose another one. For example, we'll change the selected network box and choose another network interface. Let's check the situation on Destination Interface Connections widget. The panel is empty. This means that the selected interface is free. Let's click Advance. Then the process closes without displaying error messages. It means that the wiring sequence has been created correctly.